All right, guys, we are back at Americade on the Indian Pursuit, new for 2023. This is the white dark horse variant called the Icon, the Icon Package. Oh, let's go take this bad boy out for a spin. All right, guys, we are back on the Indian Pursuit, new for 2023, the Icon variant. We've got 122 horsepower, 128 foot-pounds of torque stock. This thing is amazing. It's loaded with all the premium touring features you could possibly want on any motorcycle. And if I had the money, it would be the motorcycle I would get right now. So the first thing we're gonna go over, there's certain criteria that I have when it comes to judging motorcycles. The first of which is gonna be comfort. If a bike is not comfortable, you are not going to want to ride it. So, with that being said, we have to break down comfort into a couple of categories. First category when it comes to comfort is going to be the seat. Seat on the Pursuit is super comfortable, heated, and Indian also offers a cooled seat as well. That may be what is on here, but I'm not entirely sure. Seat is incredibly comfortable. It's nice and wide. It's actually wider than my butt, which is saying quite a bit. It makes it feel so much more comfortable when you have a wider area to get on your seat and actually move around and adjust if needed. After the seat, the next part that determines comfort is the riding position. We've got gigantic floorboards on this thing and an upright riding position, bars that come back substantially towards you putting my arms in a nice relaxed position. I would almost call these like beach bars on here. We are in sport mode. So let's see what we can do. All right, power, 10 out of 10. Power's amazing, the acceleration is super fast, super quick. You guys felt that, or saw that there at least, and you can really feel it. Jumping back to the comfort real quick to wrap that up. Stock out of the gate, I would give this a nine and a half out of 10 on comfort, which is probably the highest that I would give any stock setup on a motorcycle. I'm super impressed with this new seat from Indian. I am never a fan of stock seats. My first recommendation is to always, 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 oh hey, I can put that windshield up even taller. Oh, I can make this even quieter, there we go. Yeah, if you're new to Indian, that's another thing. You know, we can actually put our windshields all the way up all the way down you can cool yourself you can make it more comfortable i know you harley guys <clears throat> i say that as a harley owner i know you guys are new to that and you don't understand it but trust me it's magic and it's amazing comfort nine and a half out of ten engine power 10 out of 10. it's amazing we got the new liquid cooled uh, power plus engine in here from indian absolutely incredible just like their award-winning thunderstroke engines but a liquid cooled engine gives you so much more power and it's absolutely amazing. Fantastic. I am a little disappointed in that speed limiter though. I wanted to go way faster. All right. So we've talked about comfort. We've talked about the power. I am gonna pull over right up here. We're gonna take a quick walk around on this bike and run through the features with you guys. I'll show you everything there is to show you. Go over some of this stuff on the fancy infotainment center up here. On Indian, we know that as Ride Command. Anyone coming, anyone coming, no one coming. Shifting is very smooth. Engine braking is nice. All right, let's take a quick look and a walk around here. I know there's some guys already waiting at the demo area for this, so I'll make it quick for you guys. Yes, this is the new heated and cooled seat from Indian. Power Plus engine. I hope you guys can see the paint job, and the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but the metal flake in this white sparkle here, it's absolutely beautiful. We've got dual floating disc brakes up front, Brembo, of course, best in the business. Full LED lights all the way around, including the running lights down in front, along with uh, front leg fairings, adjustable vents for your legs if you wanna stay cooler, warmer, easy enough to reach up and just kick that opener closed with your foot makes it very easy to adjust while riding. 
fairings all the way around to cut noise. Little fairing there, fairing here. Up inside of here, there's more fairings that you can adjust, uh, uh, or vents rather. Windshield, of course, adjustable to make sure you're blocking all that wind and getting rid of the buffeting. Because it's their touring package, you've got passenger floorboards instead of pegs. Plenty of storage, huge saddlebags, big trunk with luggage rack. So you can strap another bag on top of here. Trunk is pretty similar to mine. Pretty much the same thing. You've got antenna for AM FM radio. And we've got, I believe, 200 watts of surround sound audio in here. Two in the trunk, two up front, might even be more than that. 35 and change gallons of storage space on this bike. So plenty of room to do everything and take everything you need on a long touring trip. One other thing to mention, kind of a major difference between just getting a Challenger and throwing a trunk on it versus getting a Pursuit. Obviously you have the leg fairings up front, but there's an electronically adjustable suspension in this bike. It can uh, be adjusted for passenger, different weight loading, and when you come to a stop, it will lower itself down so you can uh, get your feet on the ground easier. And then as you accelerate from your stop and take back off again, it will raise the bike back up. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're considering the difference between the two and wondering if the pursuit price tag is worth it. That's a key feature that you will not get on the Challenger. Taking a look at our screen up here while you're riding, you don't have to touch anything. You've got controls on the back side of your handlebars here. You can click through screens, see information about the bike, current ride, mileage, info like that. It does have the ability to do a home link there. Hang on one second. There's home link so you can open your garage door from the motorcycle. GPS, of course. AM, FM, we also have NOAA weather band radio. USB and iPod, if you still have an iPod that'll plug in. Most of us are gonna use Bluetooth and that pretty much covers it. If you have your phone paired up, you can also get weather and traffic on this GPS display. So you can get that fed into the bike, uh, help you navigate maybe a little bit better if you're dealing with a high traffic situation or if some bad weather's moving in. For features around the bike, as far as storage, you saw the storage in the back. Let's talk about up front. A little storage here with a plug-in for your phone. We also have the gas cap lock down here which unlocks this. You can lock your gas cap that way. On this side, we have the button down here for the heated grips. So of course, it's a touring bike. You're gonna have heated seat and heated grips. We also have running lamps up here for fog lamps. I'm gonna turn those on. Oh, what else is there? Cruise control, obviously. We've also got audio control and we've got power windshield up and down. We also have a plug-in up here. If you guys have heated gear, they've already got a plug-in situated there for you. There's 12 volt, there's USB hookups. They've thought of everything on this bike, guys. It's amazing. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you here, see if we can adjust the suspension real quick. Oh, these screens are customizable. You can drag your widgets and hoojits wherever you want to put them on here. So we're in sport mode. We've got shock preload. I'm gonna set it to single rider. I can actually feel the bike adjusting slightly. And yeah, that should be good. Fine tune, we don't need that. We're gonna leave it in sport. And now that we've done a walk around, I've shown you the features on the bike. Ride Command's a fantastic system, guys. It also pairs to your phone, to the Ride Command app. So anything like, uh, let's say you're sitting in the house and you're like, oh, I wonder when my next oil change is due on the bike. Do I need to pick up a change kit for that? It pairs to your phone and it puts that information there. You can also plan different riding routes from your phone or from Ride Command Online and send them wirelessly to the bike. So Ride Command is a very highly detailed, very well-functioning system. It's been well thought out by Polaris and Indian. They've did an excellent job with it. So we've talked about comfort, power, all the infotainment stuff, ride command stuff. Let's talk about handling. We're gonna get this sucker up on the road here into the twisties, talk about handling. Obviously, this is the biggest touring bike Indian makes. This is not like running a Scout or a Sport Chief. That being said, 
It's got a pretty steep rake in the front. I believe I'll put the stats for that up on the screen for you guys. And the handling, well, it feels very light. It feels much lighter actually than my Chieftain, which I feel like is a, is a pretty good balance on handling. But, oh, that's a little, that's a little steep. It feels incredibly light. Just fingertip steering is very flickable. Feels good, handles nice. I'm gonna back off this guy just a little bit because I wanna rip it a little harder up here. Tell you what guys, it's a good thing all the vents open on here because even with it being a liquid cooled bike, oops, sorry, forgot I didn't have a heel shifter. It's a hot day out and I can still feel some heat coming off of this. Obviously not as much as I do on an air cooled, but it's still there. I love the sound this bike makes. It's got a deep rumble to it. Indians always sound good. Better in my opinion than Harley. Uh, just my opinion there. Okay. Handles pretty well. You know, with a little more time on it, I would feel comfortable leaning it over a little bit harder. Good on the handling. I will give it a 10 out of 10 on the handling, simply because it is the biggest uh, bagger that you're gonna have, or, or touring bike, really. And touring bikes are not known for their handling ability, but this handles better than a road glide or a street glide. I've ridden both of those. This handles much better than either of them. So 10 out of 10 on the handling here. The last thing is gonna be style. You guys saw what it looks like. There's not much more I can say or do about that. That's just all personal preference. What do you guys think about the Pursuit? Would you rather just have a Challenger? Do you like the touring look? Or should Indian have just stuck with the Roadmaster for their ultimate touring machine? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And of course, coming from, again, don't hate me for this, but coming from a Harley owner, if any of you Indian guys want to start crap down in the comments and start a fight, go for it. Be my guest. I'm always down for a good, uh, good fun picking on each other down in the comments. Ultimately, as long as you ride, it doesn't matter what you're on. As long as you're not on a BMW, those guys, no, no, we don't, we don't do that here. That does not happen on Motoblade. I rode one BMW, never again. It was terrible, sucked, hated it. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for the Pursuit, guys. It's the ultimate touring bike from Indiana. It is loaded with every feature you could want, every feature you probably could think of, and some stuff that you may never even use. The ride command alone is worth probably 20, 30 minutes to go into every little feature, and I just simply don't have the time to do that as we are trying to uh, keep these bikes going back to the demo center and being respectful to everybody back there who's waiting to get a test ride on these. So trying to go through this quickly while still giving you guys the full tour. It's got plenty of storage. The seat is incredibly comfortable. The handlebars are comfortable. Everything is just great about this bike. Indian did a great job. There's Again, there's nothing really new this year from uh, last year as far as mechanics, but the paint job, this new Icon variant, is really good looking. Not sure if I would go for this or a full blacked out look. Again, let me know what you guys think about the color down in the comments. And we're gonna wrap this video up here from Lake George, head back to the dealership area, the demo area, and we're gonna do more test rides on the Indian. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I ask that you just please hit that thumbs up button that helps me crack the YouTube algorithm and gets this video out to more people who may find it useful as well. And if you guys are new here to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you notifications so you don't miss when a new video comes out here. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these test ride videos, so over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doling them out to you guys on YouTube, and you will get to see all of the new test ride videos from Americade. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, y'all know what to do. Be careful, ride safe, ride on, I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.